Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to episode two of Dan and Mathis play Astroneer. Mathis, what's going on? Hello. We are all, the the storm is over. The storm is over. We're um going to get my shit. Yeah. How do you find your stuff? I have a beacon that shows me where my stuff is. Do you not have a beacon? I see a beacon of you. I don't see. So I died twice. I died once out in the wild, and then once yeah. in our inventory pit. I wonder. I wonder if if you die in real life, you die for real. Uh, or if you die in the game, you die for real. Have you ever seen that movie? It's awful. What's it called? I forget a game. It's some the game. Basically, the idea is like these kids are playing a video game, and if they die in real life, I mean, if they die in the game, they die in real life. Really? It's stupid. What? <laughs> is it like I a think... B movie or something? It was in theaters though. I think, and I could be wrong, so I apologize. But I think, uh, what's his name? Elijah Wood was in the movie too. Really? Yeah. That sounds like a movie I would see. Oh man, it came out a long time. I'm gonna fucking Google it right now. Hey, real quick, speaking of Google, what do we do with this smelter? Do you think it like duplicates stuff or breaks stuff down? I feel like it's gonna break things down and turn into other things. We need to make uh, we need to give it power though. Okay. Oh, another storm. There's another storm coming. I can hear the wind. It is coming. Oh, it's coming from behind us. Behind you, Mathis. It's actually kind of cool. Look at the. Part. Oh, you're Googling Elijah Wood, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking. I'm gonna, uh, it's, it's called Stay Alive. Look at the particle effects behind it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting the whole... Oh, it's like a tornado. Let's, we should probably... Uh... Is that a tornado? Right, I'm coming in the hole with you, Dan. How do you... Alt, the alt makes the hole, ah. covers up the hole, right? Uh, It'll, like, graze the ground in yeah. the direction. We should probably... We yeah. We should make a hey, little... Hey, buddy. What's How's up, it going? Buddy? Good. We've got our little... Stuff down <laughs> we're here. just hiding. I'm gonna try and make like a working like hobbit hole down here for us. I... What's creepy is we just have your dead body just hanging out down here with us. Is there anything on the body? Uh, let me click it. Nope, nothing. Okay. All right, so we He's got just... a bunch of stuff here, right? Hanging out. I wonder if how how deep the world goes. Like, you're saying like to the core? Yeah, like because you know in Minecraft you have like you'll hit like the bedrock. Yeah. I wonder if this goes, like, to a specific a specific point. That'd be interesting to see, like, if there's a core. Yeah. All right, so do you have any compound? Uh, I think I do. Because you should, should make... I don't have enough yet. Okay. I want to make uh, a solar flare or solar generator. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we if can... we can find aluminum, we can make a wind, a wind one. But, yeah, we need, we need to make a solar generator. All right. And all the stuff down here. We have a t it's surprising because I could not find resin to save my life when I was playing single player. But now we have more resin than we have compound. All right. The wind the storm is over. All right, cool. I'm going to go out uh, this other way and start looking for some more materials. Eh. Are you going to make gonna... another uh, station? Not yet. Okay. Let's get the smelter up and running first. And then we're going to try like different combinations of smelting stuff? Yeah, let's see what we can make. I haven't used a smelter yet, have you? I have not. I've done okay. the researcher and like the the vehicle builder. Oh, I see a ton of uh, compound over here. Beautiful. Are you following me or going a different way? No, I'm going. I'm going off the beaten path, Dan. Wish me luck. Good luck, good luck, fam. Uh, all right. Are you excited for Afterbirth Plus? Um, yeah, I'll you try didn't it really out. You didn't get into Afterbirth, did you? No, I was really into Rebirth, and then I was still learning all the items from Rebirth. And then Afterbirth came out, and I'm like, oh, gosh, like, I can't even keep these items straight, you know? <laughs> so I'll play it for sure. What about you? Oh, yeah. I'm going to play it. Yep. I mean, I got 1,001%. So like, You did? Yeah. So you did all the lost stuff? I did everything on every character. I mean, honestly, if, if I felt like people would enjoy watching on my channel, I would definitely play it because I love the game. It's just you got to make some decisions, you know, tough decisions. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, I got a solar generator made. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Nice. I found a ton of compounds, so nice and easy. So the solar... I like how the solar generator will hang out on the side of your backpack and just looks cool. Well, you know, it actually does something. I'm assuming it gives you power, right? Yeah. Like, it'll generate power for you during the day? Yeah. Which is good, man. That's why, like, so all these little I'm going to make systems. another one so I can have it on mine. You look stuck to me. Are you stuck? Nope. Oh. All right, so I got a solar generator on mine now. Uh, and I got one on the smelter. All right, so that should be that's powering up, right? 
Yeah, well, it'll power up only when the sun's out. Sun's okay. out, guns out, boys. And then what do we do? We put random stuff in there? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming we'll just put stuff in it when when it's when it's available. Cool. There is something, um, I don't want to say novel, but interesting in the fact that neither of us have played it very much. So, I'm not going to really, I don't think I'm going to Wikipedia much stuff, are you? No. I don't think the game is, con like, deep enough in development where we need to Wikipedia. Like, Tech It was like a game on top of a game. Yeah. It was like an afterbirth expansion, <laughs> basically. It was like... There's a ton of stuff to go through. Yeah, no. Wait, but, uh, speaking of that, this. like, because that's not out, like, technically. I mean, by the time this video's out, it's out. Like, are you, like, day one it and putting it on Oh, your yeah. Channel? As soon as we're done with this, it's the game is out. The game should have been out by now. Uh, I'll be pumping out probably for the first two or three days, like, two videos a day for it. Let me ask you this. So, if I didn't play Afterbirth, uh -huh. and I'm getting into Afterbirth Plus, right? So yeah. Is it, like... I know it's like the modding stuff, but is it? It's like new items and whatnot. There's a uh, over 50 new items, uh, a new floor, and a new final boss. Okay. So they they did add stuff to it. Okay. So it's not just a, like, hey, modding tools. Which is right. gonna be? I think like to see someone like Nick. I hope Nick takes advantage of that. I think Nick like that's the strength of Nick's. I hope he like makes some cool stuff. I could see him doing that. I agree. Nick is a. Uh, that's his thing. I love it when he gets into, like, game development talk. Yeah. Because he has such a unique, you know, angle on everything when he talks about it. Would you, are you, do you think you're going to do any modding or, like, mess with it no, at all? No, fuck no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because is it not, I'm is not... it not, like, easy? Yeah, I mean, I would assume there's a, there's a rather, rather steep learning curve that's going to be associated with it. So, I'm good. <laughs> you're like, nah, I'm good. Uh, I, don't, I don't have the time. I just don't have the time. Yeah. Maybe and... if I had the time. Maybe, but at the same time, I have no ideas as to like what I would do for modding either. So screw it. Uh, can I ask you a, a sensitive question? Uh, possibly. If what too sensitive? I'll just edit it out. What do you think of Ryan's impersonation of you? <laughs> <laughs> the only impersonation I know of is the one that you love. So <laughs> it's so <laughs> the, good. Yeah, whatever. It's so good. Oh, do you find God. it accurate or do you find it not accurate? I, I mean. It's as accurate as he can get, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I do, it doesn't upset me at all in any way. I can't think of, like, a lot of things that upset you. Comments every so often. <laughs> really? <laughs> they get to me sometimes. You've seen me in, in Skype go off about comments and shit every once in a while. That is true. But like, I mean, since we're talking about it, like, is there a particular genre of comments that, like, triggers you? I think the ones that get me the most, and they haven't happened too often lately... Like, there's this two, and they kind of go hand-in-hand hand with one another. I think I talked about it in my video as well. It's the uh, the comments that, that, like, seem to just not understand the fuck math this thing is a meme. Like, it's a joke, and they take it seriously, and they think everybody hates me. <laughs> and that the ones that they think that, like, everybody plays video games with me because they have this weird sense of duty or obligation to do so. And I'm like, but this, what, that doesn't make any goddamn sense, you idiots. Like, why would Dan or Ryan play games with me because they feel like they need to? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's, that's like, I didn't... It doesn't benefit them in any way. I didn't, like, I didn't fully understand the depth of that until I watched your video. I'm like, dang, people really do think that? Like... Yeah, they're dumb. Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. You I'm not going to call people dumb, but, like, I don't know. I just, that's probably one of the, the big things I took away from that video is, like, dang, like, that... That kind of grew out of control and really, like, had an impact. I mean, it's not affecting your daily life, but oh, yeah, no. impact on at least how you and think honestly, of things. It's, when I look at it, it's had a pretty positive impact on me overall. I mean, I used a lot of that that to fuel my need to create Judge Mathis and stuff. Like, so. Yeah. You know, that's the thing I try to do, too. And I, and I know I go off on Twitter every once in a while and I'll, I'll vent on Skype about comments being stupid and bothering me but you know i try to take that particular type of energy and just funnel it into something useful and uh that's where like a lot of the judge mathis uh inspiration came from is like yeah well i'm gonna show them i don't need them not <laughs> you guys but like yeah. the commenters yeah whatever yeah whatever <laughs> fucking ryan <laughs> that one shell shock video oh i don't know man it was just really good but no i, I think that's like it's you take like a potential negative and you know you find a way to grow an entire new channel from <laughs> from a vein of comments yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> and the successful chain on that, so. So far, anyway. I'm, I've, like, in the middle of nowhere right now. I've got a crap ton of compound. All right, good. So you might want to make yourself some more tethers, then. I'm going to keep exploring out into the middle of nowhere right now. Yeah, if you find anything of value, you know, please enlighten I see me. a giant rock, but I'm going to go. It has arrows on it, so I'm going to go see what this is. Is it, What color is it? Black. It might Ooh. be resin. It, it actually looks like it's like a giant resin vein. I think we're doing pretty good here in terms of compound collecting. Yeah, just... it's a gigantic resin vein. And it's right. black? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark it with a beacon. Do those things recharge? I think, I, th I think veins recharge. Okay. I could be wrong, but... I mean, they look... They de they're they designed like they look like they recharge. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I put a beacon down. Can you see it? Um, I, uh, should just be a giant blue arrow with a dot. When you drop the beacon, do you have to do something to it? Does it have to be powered or anything? I don't think so. It looks blue to me. Um, no. I don't see, I see our home. Right. But you may be way out there. Maybe you have to get like a certain distance away. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I see some more compound. I'm going to go grab it. Feel like I'm on the moon, Dan. I know this is cool, man. This is uh, we're gonna make a spaceship and we're gonna check out other planets. Do you think that's we're right? Gonna... We're... <laughs> do you think that's gonna actually happen? <laughs> I think that there's it's easy enough to do it in this version of the game. But do you think? Do. What do you think we're gonna do it? I think we are. I think we are, Dan. Okay, me too. Because I... I mean, unofficially, without spoiling anything, I'm the one that pulled the plug on Minecraft, so. Yeah, whatever happened with that? I don't remember, to be honest with you. I don't remember either. I, I, I stopped. I don't remember why. I'll tell you, I do remember us. What I remember about it, we talked a lot about Star Wars Episode 7. 7. Yeah, we did. And that's like, is that two years ago? No, it was a year ago. year ago. A okay. year ago. And I what, can't wait for 8. 8's going to be good. And then, then what's after that is Han Solo's. I think it's the Han Solo solo film, yeah. Solo? Film? Which I don't really want, but you don't? I'll watch it. No, you know what I would love? I would love an in-between years for Obi-Wan Kenobi while he's, like, just on Tatooine. And he's, like, before he's Alec Guinness, Guinness age. But, you know, he's, like, living his initial life on Tatooine and stuff. So would and it maybe be... having to hide from, like, the Empire and having to deal with them looking for him and all this stuff. So would it be you, you and McGregor again? Yeah, I think you and McGregor is the perfect age to play him again. To be honest, with a little makeup, because I think one of the best parts of the trilogy is you and McGregor as Obi Wan. I don't think the tri the prequel trilogy is good, but uh, I think he was like a bright spot in an otherwise horrendous film trilogy. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen it yet, but I saw a, a small Easter egg. Like, I mean, you would never see it in the movie that Jar Jar Binks is in Rogue One. <laughs> I don't believe you. I swear. I swear. I, I hope he dies horribly. All right. So what do you, you've got anything? I'm coming back because my backpack is way too full. So I'm coming back. Okay. I'm okay. like out in the middle of East Bumfuck nowhere. Oh yeah. Oh no. I see my beacon. You might not be able to. I could see it from my house. From the house. It might be behind trees and rocks or something. And you dropped a beacon way out there that I can see as well. Oh, you can see that's. There's a lot of compound there, so that's why I dropped that. Okay. So I feel like we have like a lot of lot of like basic stuff, but I feel like we don't have anything like unique yet. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No, it makes sense. I'm gonna um. I'm gonna see here. What do you got cooking over there? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna expand the base a bit. I think. But I wanna. I, the base is currently in Ugly Town. Like, it's just not, the, the land around it is awful. Oh, so you're going to, like, uh, smooth it out? I'm trying to out? smooth it out, frying, but I'm not, I'm not succeeding very well. I think once we get to a point where we have, um, like, more power, we can, like, smooth stuff up, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's get some resin in there. What do we want next? So we have a smelter. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's see. Do we want to get a research center up? That's... Those open the kinder eggs, right? Yeah. We could do that. Yeah, go ahead and slap a donger on that. I'm excited for us to get some uh, some vehicles here. All yeah, right. vehicle bay is something we need to build as well. Ooh, I got hydrazine. You said that's like fuel? 
Yeah, I think it's fuel. I think okay. it works as like fuel. Ooh, is our uh, is our smelter powered up? Yeah, it has power. I don't know what to do with it, but it has power. I'm gonna. You want to throw this fuel in it and see what happens? Bring it over. All right. Hang in here. So any. Uh, I'm gonna I... slap some compound in it and see if it does anything. Cool. Any um, games coming out in 2017 you're, that's on your radar you're excited for? Um, hmm. None that come to mind. But I'm sure there are if I think. I know for you, you for some reason you think Squadron 42 is going to launch this year. It's coming it's, out. Yeah, huh? Okay. I, Mathis, I'm telling you, so Squadron 42 is a single player. Yeah, portion I know what it is. I'm just telling you. All right. I think it's really close, the, the first chapter. Are you kidding me? Like, did you see the recent stream? They couldn't even show anything that was just not buggy as hell. But you have to remember, Squadron 42 is separate from Star Citizen. Oh, is but this... they didn't show anything from Squadron 42. Because you want to know why? <laughs> I'm serious. I think it was ready, but it wasn't perfect. And I think Chris Roberts internally thinks he's got one shot to, like, blow the doors off this thing. And at this point, why rush it? You know what I'm saying? I, I, It's been really fun to watch the subreddit start to implode on itself. Come on. <laughs> Wait, this isn't doing anything. They're getting they're, – I know. I, I, I noticed. I don't know if I need to put anything else in. I don't know how the smelter works. I'm going to put some rocket fuel on the side. Oh, Dan, that's not what you do. <laughs> I don't understand how this works. Let's see. I would think there's probably some kind of compound we haven't found yet that's, like, raw, you know? Or maybe it's not compound. We need to like put metals in it instead. Could do like that. Like aluminum or something. I would think. You know what we should do? Let's do the printer next. All right. Because let's I, do that. I think that that's going to, like, allow us to duplicate stuff. That's just me though. Have you found any caves or anything? We haven't found anything yet. Uh, uh, I actually did come across the cave, initially, but I didn't uh, explore it let's yet. Go. You want to go check it out? Sure. Uh, where are you? You can I, follow me. Yeah, yeah, I'm right behind you. To my beacon. It's near my beacon. What are you? Other than Squadron 42, what are you looking forward to in 2017? What mm -hmm. is supposedly launching? There is a really interesting... Um, it's like a mix. I don't know the name of it. It's a space game where it's it's like a a three-hour-ish roguelike. Where it's like it's, okay. it's going to take like three to six hours to beat each run. But it's a mix of, like, top-down strategy, planet-side landing. Um, that sounds really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I wish It's, like, Into the Stars or something. I just got an huh. email on it. But it's going to come out, I think, uh, quarter two in 2017. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Because I played that, sounds... that at, at PAX East last year. Um, Here's my homemade bridge. Well, that's nice work, Matt. Oh, no! All right, that's fine. I can come up. Me. <laughs> that's kind of fun to watch man <laughs> just like creating my own elevator yeah all right so this little mountain here side here i think there was a cave entrance that i saw yeah up hey. ahead on the left hey are you a dark souls guy yeah beat all of them you beat three yep it was the last guy like super ridiculously hard nope the last guy was a pushover in my opinion really uh the hard guy was like a secret boss he was he was the hardest i had uh trouble with it was the nameless king oh uh, okay is he that the, is that the one ryan got stuck on yes yeah, one ryan never okay. beat okay oh there isn't this isn't a cave oh that's a shame <laughs> well, the sadness let's scale let's scale the mountain let's see if there's something up here you got tethers uh i have a few tethers left okay let me let's at least get our oh two yeah right ryan, ryan gave up like a bitch well, it's, what, it's just like every so often on one of the subreddits, either Northern Lion or the Circle Jerk, it's like someone still brings that up. And I'm, like I played Dark Souls, but at three, but I didn't get that far. But I'm like, yeah, dang. It's a pain. The boss is really, really hard. And to to be fair, in, in fairness to Ryan, um, his build was not meant to fight like Dark Souls three heavily favors more than any of the other Dark Souls in my opinion a melee style combat. Like it really heavily favors sword and board. And Ryan went Pyromancer. That is not that is not the way the game should be played, in my opinion. Which is a shame, because there shouldn't be a right or wrong way to play the game. Yeah, it's like, you. no matter what you build, you find a way to get it yep, done. Yeah, but no. What, what was the big gimmick with the boss? 
He's just really hard. So he has two phases, and he he uh, his first phase he's riding a gigantic dragon, and he's flying around the map, and he's doing a ton of damage. And his attacks, like the tempo and the tells of his attacks, are always like off. Like it feels weird. There's like the timing between when he when he gives a tell of his attack and the actual attack is a little wonky. Um, and then his second phase, he gets off of his dragon. And he's even faster and hits even harder, and he does a lot of AOE damage as well. So. He's just, he's just really, he's just very difficult. Difficult and awkward? Yep. I got a Kinder Egg. You, you got one? Yeah. I felt you like... Want to bring this down the mountainside? Yeah, can you chuck it? Are you Yeah, up? where are you? I am right over... I see you. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Look at it. We may not even have to carry it. Look at that. <laughs> this is rolling down the mountainside. I you felt... can see the map. I don't know if you've been looking, but you can see the other planets rotating around our planet. Really? Yeah. That's pretty sweet. I like it. It's cool. Honestly, I think this game has a lot of potential. Yeah, I'm glad we're playing it. I'm glad we have our first Kinder Egg here, too. Have you played Subnautica? I haven't. You would probably really like Subnautica. It's like, I know my understanding of it is survival underwater, but give me the... Yeah, so like the, st the, the story is uh, you're on this spaceship... Uh, heading to, I think, maybe like a mining facility to do a job or whatever, and your ship gets shot out of the sky mysteriously, and you land on this all-water planet, and uh, you have a job to survive, and also there's a story that you're trying to, like, you can come across and just figure out what happened, uh, why you got shot down, where are the other people that were on your ship. Um, it's mostly survival. It's all about exploring and surviving, but the map is handmade, so it's not randomly generator, generated every time, and it's really, really big. What do you mean it's by awesome. handmade? So, like, I, so like, I'm going to have the same experience you're going to have from a... Well, yeah, the map is going to be the same for the both of us. Exactly. Okay. Um, the resources are randomly placed around the map, but the, the map itself is, is handcrafted. And then there is an ending to it, per se? Not yet. It's still in early access, but they're uh -huh. almost done. Within the, I think their final build of the game is, they said, within the next six months, and will be done. Why do you keep coming back to wanting to play it? All the, they, every time they update it, they add a ton of stuff to the game, and it's always really fun. Is they add a ton of cool stuff. Is it a lot of it like crafting or exploring? or? It's a, it's a bit of both. It's a bit of a crafting and exploring. So, like, the... the you're constantly trying to go deeper and deeper into the into the planet under the water, but the deeper you go, the more pressure there is. So you have to keep building new things, and eventually you have to build yourself a gigantic submarine that you can dock like a smaller, faster boat into, and you can like launch from your submarine. Your submarine becomes like a mobile base, uh, and you can upgrade your submarine. You can upgrade like all these other things that you have. Uh, it's just really, really cool. It sounds I cool. think you would enjoy it. Yeah, I might check it we out. We are 22 minutes in, my friend, by the way. So should we open the is Kinder this... Egg now, or do yeah, we... Uh, no, you know what? Let's open it at the beginning of next episode. Ooh! Ooh. All right. You want to take us out, Mathis? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. We'll be back uh, with another episode in two days. As we said in the last episode, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we'll be launching some Astroneer for a little while. And, uh, well, next episode will pop up in this Kinder Egg. We'll see you then. <laughs> see you guys. Bye-bye.